Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. So on Tuesday I shared my office so Today, I wanted to share my other favorite room of the house, which is our like library um, or study or whatever you wanna call it. I call it the library. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So the library was meant to be the dining room. It is right off of the front door and the kitchen, um, but we also have a pretty large like breakfast nook area in the house. So we really didn't need two tables. So instead of having a room that we really never used, I decided to turn it in to a library. So this is how it is looking. And like I said, it's basically my other favorite room of the house other than my office. And EXO also really, really loves it. Um, so yeah. We have our chandelier. This was here when we moved in, but I think it's absolutely perfect for this room. I love it so much. Um, we have this rug, which is from Amazon. I also saw the exact same rug on Wayfair, so either one of those. This chair we actually got from Value City Furniture over a year ago now. Yeah, about a year and a half ago, we had it in the apartment and it's like the best reading chair ever. And EXO absolutely loves it. And so yeah, we just hang out here and read. We have this picture right here. So this actually says where we live, which is why that's covered. But my friend Chrissy from Pretty on Paper Co. sent this to me for a housewarming gift. This is the night sky over the like little small like suburb area of Memphis that we live in. Um, so yeah, that's the night that we closed and I absolutely love it. So it had to go in here. I am pretty sure I'm gonna get a map of Memphis to put somewhere else in this room because I think that that will kind of pair well with this picture. And then back here we have this reading lamp. This part is adjustable and then this part's adjustable. I picked that up from Target. And then, and then on the chair we have this throw pillow from Ikea. You guys saw that in the haul. This is a blanket that I was testing for the shop. If you didn't see Monday's video, I talked about how we are expanding our product lines in the shop and blankets are one thing that I kind of want to expand into. So this is another one that I am trying out. I absolutely love this one. It is about the same size as the smaller Erin Condren blankets. So it's actually like perfect for like cuddling up and reading. So yeah, you'll probably see, if not this design, something else in the shop very soon. We have Exo here with his favorite blanket. This one I picked up at Home Goods forever ago. And on Monday I talked about how he really likes faux fur stuff. So he kind of took over this blanket when I picked it up and it's his absolute favorite in the house. So it's in here for when we're hanging out and reading. And then we just have this little end table. I got the end table from Amazon, but it's just like one of those like hairpin tables with a top. You can get them like almost anywhere. So on the table, I just have this picture of me and Cody. It's one of my favorite pictures of us ever. So had to have it in here. And then we have this copy of the Iliad. This is Cody's or his grandfather's. So I think it is absolutely beautiful. So I wanted to kind of have it on display in here. We have this little succulent that I'm trying to keep alive from Ikea. I got this like when we moved in and it's still holding strong, which is awesome because I have killed succulents. So I'm trying to keep you alive. Um, and that's one of our coasters for when we're in here. This is actually one of the books that I'm reading this month. So that's here. These are the tabs I use for annotating books. So yeah, kind of already working on this book. 
And then over here, we have this plant I got forever ago at Home Goods. I absolutely love it. It fits in perfectly here and it's staying. And then we have, of course, the star of the room. We have my bookshelves and I have room to expand, which is amazing. So I have styled these and you guys have seen, or I've styled this one and you guys have seen it um, on my Instagram feed, but I really honestly like, kind of need to redo these shelves because when I did it I was really focused on just kind of getting them up there and making it look pretty but I really didn't like do it by genre or anything which is how I want to have it organized um but yeah I just kind of honestly got tired of looking at my books and we were moving in and so it was like we just needed to like get everything put up, you know? So yeah, I really love how this shelf looks. So it's gonna look similar, but I like really haven't done much of anything with this one. So yeah, I kind of need to work on it. But for right now, I kind of have my contemporary books kind of across the top. Those are a couple of books I was thinking about reading. Um, and then down here, this is just some books that I've um, either, they're kind of like left over after I styled this shelf. So yeah, it's just like a hodgepodge of stuff. And then here I have all of my Philippa Gregory except for The King's Curse. It's in my office because that's the one that I'm currently reading. Um, I have a few other books. Here it's kind of fairy tale retellings, but then again, there's some over here. So down here we have some fantasy. Um, by the way, this is my copy of Beauty and the Beast from Mina Lima. If you didn't know, Mina Lima are the artists behind um, all of the Harry Potter stuff. So like, if it was like a paper product or like a sign or anything, they did it for like all of the Harry Potter movies. So they also do um, like classic fairy tales. So I have Beauty and the Beast. This is a rose that Cody got me for Valentine's Day. And then I also have Peter Pan. They also have um, the Jungle Book and the Little Mermaid. And there's something else that is coming out. So yeah, I have those. This was Cody's mom's, so we have that here. We have some more fantasy. We have my Harry Potter shelf. The Hogwarts I got from Universal, and of course all the rest of them are just the books. We have some books down here that are kind of like books I read as a kid and I really loved them so I've held on to them or like even some like comics and stuff that just kind of really don't fit anywhere. We have this which just kind of happened to like get put there. We have the 20 years of Buffy the Vampire Slayer. That's really not where it's gonna stay but this shelf was empty so you know. We have a couple of Cody's grandfather's books here. We have some more like hodgepodge of stuff and again I got this globe from home goods and that came from the like chocolate emporium restaurant at Universal we have like I said hodgepodge of stuff this came from Hobby Lobby and so did this little guy they have had um like this, like these little figurines for so long and they have like an entire band and I just picked up the guitar guy and I think he is so cool. So yeah, he's like made out of like nuts and bolts and stuff. So yeah, oh, I didn't tell you, this was from my friend for Christmas. It's from a Christmas store in Michigan that is apparently pretty famous, which is awesome because I love Christmas. And then that is from Target. And I really love hourglasses, so I picked it up. Over here is where Exo's pin is and his toy basket. And then up here, we have the wand holder that Cody and I made along with the wands that we got at Universal. And then, like I said, there's our kitchen. We still don't actually have our dining table. 
So yeah, like I said, on Monday or on Tuesday, the house is um, not completely done. So yeah. And then I got Cody a nest for his birthday. And we actually really love it. Like, we haven't had to adjust our thermostat since we got it, which is awesome. Unless it's like cold because our temperature in Memphis fluctuates a lot. So yeah, that is pretty much it for the library. Like I said, it's definitely one of my favorite rooms in the house and I absolutely love it. I love that I still have room to expand my bookshelves if, um, if and when I'm going to need to, but I also love the fact that I have some space and room to grow on my bookshelves because at the apartment I was like making stacks of books on the floor which like that's where we were with the apartment so yeah i absolutely love it and i love reading in here and this has definitely kind of become like the hangout room um like at night like i'll be sitting in the chair and cody will be cooking because he cooks way better than me like way better um and xo and i hang out and cody will come in here and hang out and i love it i do wish we had enough room to have like two of these chairs here um but so like whenever this chair is finally worn out enough that we want to replace it I'll probably get something a little smaller so that I could do a chair here and then a chair here but yeah for now it works and I love it so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video hit the thumbs up button if you did comment down below comment down below and let me know if you would put curtains on this window because it's really really tall and the sun sets on this side of the house so at like five six it starts to get like the sun is like blaring through the upper part of the window yeah the upper part of the window um so i kind of want to put curtains but i also don't because i just don't really feel like we need curtains I don't know. I can't decide. So let me know if you would put curtains on the window. Let me know if you saw any books that I should pick up next because I have a lot to read. Um, and yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. I put up videos twice a week usually. I'm trying to post them on Tuesday and Thursday now. Um, so yeah, if you like planners or you like books, you'll probably see some videos that you will like. And I think that's pretty much it. So have a great weekend and I will talk to you later. Bye!